welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and we just pulled in the Bricks and Minifigs in Austin, Texas. They just had a huge buy-in of old retired sets. So I'm really excited to see what they have in store right now. Obviously, I'm always hoping for like old Toy Story and Scooby and Ross just really wants Star Wars. And Lord of the Rings. I am looking for some Lord of the Rings stuff. So yeah, Lord of the Rings too. Now that the Rings of Power shows died down, maybe the hype around the Lord of the Rings sets has gone down a little bit. So maybe I'll get a chance to get them. It's been 10 years since they made those sets. But also y'all, something really exciting is starting the week of Thanksgiving. The Bricks and Minifigs store here in Austin, Texas is gonna be having some awesome Lego deals. They're gonna have some discounts on bulk as well as Lego sets. But then y'all, Black Friday, Minifigs are gonna be added to that. Definitely stop by and make sure to check them out. And also make sure to tell them that we sent you. All right, Ross, you ready to head in? Let's do it. Woo! Bricks and minifigs, bricks and minifigs, bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. Okay, let's do it. We always have to sing the song, y'all. It's really important. Last time we were at Bricks and Minifigs, it wasn't night at like 4.30 p.m. So I gotta make this kind of quick, otherwise it's gonna get dark. It's kind of weird, right? Thank you. you get Check it out. They are like completely stacked today. They had an incredible buy-in of like a lot of nostalgia. So if you're a big fan of the early 2000s, late 1990s, this is going to be the video for you. So we're just going to go ahead and start with some of the old school stuff I'm seeing here. This is one of those racers ones, one of the first RC racers. I remember this controller. It was similar to one that came one of the early Bionicle sets back in the day. I think these are always fun. RC cars are always fun, obviously. Um, and then also you can see this is pretty much like the holiday section. So they have like a lot of holiday gift with purchases from the years past here. This one particularly is one of my favorite ones because it's like a little snow globe and you can shake Aww. it up and the little snow goes <laughs> around Santa. That's cute. I like that. Totes adorbs. Totes adorbs. Uh, they also got a few of the holiday gift sets from I think like two or three years ago. I believe this is the one with the, the buildable elves in it. It's a really cool set. Moving down here, this is actually I think one of the best gift with purchase winter sets they've ever made. This is the one where it kind of spins and it comes with all of those little slime gear pieces. This one hits right in the nostalgia. I have a pretty interesting story about this set. So if you remember anything about the channel from long, long ago, it actually used to be a stop motion channel. Now, I remember when I was, you know, working on the stop motion stuff, I really wanted this set. It has like a, a little lava thing. So like the road would break apart and you can make lava come out. <laughs> uh, it had a cool backdrop. I think this is the night one, but I think there was also a day version in the back and they had like these buildings that were easy to break. I remember getting it and being excited and then realizing that it only worked on like Windows XP. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no one was using that anymore. So it was really sad. So I didn't even get to use the camera or anything. And then over here, I like this one a lot too. This is the helicopter. My favorite part about it is it has like a little treadmill thing going here. So you can make the helicopter look like it's flying through a cityscape at night. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. This thing here. So oh, I love if that. If you ever do anything stop motion like that, these sets are great. I wouldn't recommend using a hardware with it, but uh, you know, just use your phone and any stop motion app and you're gonna have an awesome time with those sets. So these sets are pretty old. They're from like 1996, 1997. These are the Aquanauts. You know, we've seen different like submarine themed Lego sets before, but these are super cool. Um, they kind of remind me of like the, the Rock Raiders that came out a few years after this. And I remember my uh, older cousin actually having a lot of these sets. There's a lot of interesting pieces in here. I especially remember these like hexagon kind of stuff. Oh, that's things. weird. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really bizarre. Um, I really loved like, you know, the settings for them, the box art and everything. It's really amazing. So it was a really fun set. You know, they're based off of like different animals. And then check this one out. This is uh, Orient Expedition. So this is, uh, you know, kind of our meme set. We've seen a open version of this one and it comes with that little bear tiger thing that scares Emily all the time. Kind of creepy. At the time when these came out, these were like five bucks, maybe like two or three bucks. This is just a little director sitting there. A uh, little drag race going on, some Aquanauts. These are just cool, you know, Lego doesn't really make stuff like this anymore. Okay, so uh, Arctic, I actually had a few of these sets. I actually have this set, Whoa. I believe. So this is a two pack. That's cool. But yeah, so the whole theme of this was like, there was like these radioactive animals, usually it was an insect, <laughs> and they would have to like go find these like meteorites with these radioactive bugs in it. And I guess, I don't know if they powered the ship or, or stopped. It's a weird story. Yeah. Oh, and I remember uh, Zach the Lego Maniac. I remember him all over these sets. And then obviously the polar bear. And so that was super cool. I like how they're advertising new element in 2000. <laughs> in 2000. Wow. 22 That's years wild. ago. Oh, whoa, check this one out. Oh, I love it. Oh, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. It's making a comeback. Oh, man, this so, is cool. I'm really excited. So this is Temple of Doom. This is like at the beginning of the movie. Temple of Doom wasn't really my favorite one. I think I've only seen it a few times because I like the other two a lot better. Gotta love all these little characters. And look at that car. That car looks That's awesome. That's really nice. I love it. That's Actually, a good both build. cars are gorgeous. This is something I would not pass up on if you wanted it. Something else that's interesting is another IP with your boy Mysterio, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Check it out, Prince of Persia. I was actually just talking to the clerk earlier about the Prince of Persia sets that they're just amazing. You could tell that the Lego designers put a lot of love and effort into these sets. 
and the movie totally flopped, which is a shame. Because <laughs> I have never awesome. seen it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it like once. Man, it's really That's a great. Cool Look set, at that. Though. It's like a gondola wow. kind of thing. So saws come in, running over things, glowing snakes. Bricks. Scary. Snakes. Why has it got to be snakes? This is like all the Lego sets I remember as a kid, like when I first, you know, was doing Lego. So NBA stuff. So again, this is like early 2000s. Uh, really cool collab. This is really the only time they've ever done a collab with the NBA. It's fun because it has that little spring, so you can like pull them back and shoot baskets into the, into the <laughs> basketball hoop like That's that. That's really neat. So I really like this. Oh wow, look at this. This has a lot of playability in it, right? So you can like move the thing to different. You could like play a horse with your friends. Oh my gosh. Like <laughs> Similar set looks like. Kind of comes with the. Uh, you know, you can move it to different locations and shoot from there. And I like when it comes in that little tube like that. You see this also on the soccer ones um, because the ball gets caught in there. So it's actually easy for him to bend down and pick up the ball. So you don't even have to put the ball in his hand. So in the same vein as all the, the basketball stuff, here you have the, uh, what is this, a 3v3 shootout. Ooh. Oh, that's super cool. So it comes with a goal with the net and everything, and you can move the goalie around. And uh, this is really fun. This is a fun set. But I think it's even funner when you include it with this one. Now, oh, this man. is an That's awesome set. Look at this. We had actually played with this set um, a few months ago. We were here. They had one that was built. What's really sad, I think the only soccer set I had when I was a kid was this one. Really? It didn't, oh. it didn't even come with the really. You like could a, watch other kids play yeah. soccer with that one. <laughs> yeah. Torso's oh, wow, on those. That. Isn't that cool? Wow. Whoa, look at that. That's American cool. Team Woman Battle Pack. Look at that. <laughs> battle Pack. Whoa. So, yeah, actually, the one I had was very similar to this. That's so really neat. For came, 20 bucks. That's yeah, really cool. That's a really good deal. So, look at that. So, this was similar to the one that I had. It came with like this weird plastic goal pose. <laughs> oh, check that out. You better watch out, Emily. If I start doing <laughs> that, you're going to have to start beating one with the stick. Oh, my God. Watch out for me, my soccer, Lego Soccer Women's Team Fanny Pack. Pull him back by his head. The soccer ones have the other thing. There we go. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Watch him pick. Wow. Oh, ah! I blocked it. <laughs> okay, so check this one out. So this is uh, the Life on Mars wave. I remember this one being kind of a really interesting wave. Again, you know, classic Lego. Hey, let's put some weird, you know, radioactive stuff and some weird rock rocks. Things. This is the, like the transparent Mars rocks. What was really weird about these sets is there's a like a little docking station that comes with this one, and it used to have tubes, and it was like a series of vacuums. So you would like push down on the vacuum and it would shoot the aliens to different parts of the base. It was really trippy. <laughs> um, so that was the alien side of it. And then this is really cool. I love seeing these kind of packs like this. That's cool. just three in one. So actually, I know for sure I had Whoa. this set. That's weird. It's like a mini this, doll yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah. They're actually the droid bodies. Yeah. Have you noticed that from With the, what, the battle doll droids? Yeah. Almost? And then the legs were like a weird, they kind of look like the droids, but they were like more cartoony and fun. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't remember if these bodies came before the battle droids or not, but I'm guessing the battle droids probably came before these. That's this so cool. Like my whole childhood I'm learning so things. much, honestly. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm gonna go here. for one of the classic, one of the few, not but definitely not the only themes that almost put Lego and Bank. <laughs> Actually, there's a couple of themes that almost put Lego on bankruptcy here. So see if you can uh, <laughs> let me know which ones you see. But yep, Jack Stone. Woo, what does this have like six pieces in it? <laughs> All right, gunship gang, y'all gonna love this one. So we got a few of those, uh, you know, flat pancakes, gray pancakes, all that, Justifier, you know that. But check it out right there, what I see in the middle, 2008 Republic Gunship. Awesome set, comes with Plo Koon, Phase 1 Commander Cody, as well as Asajj Ventress and Obi-Wan. Really love this set. You can see the sticker of the Tweelie Girl. Um, I don't think Lego would allow that to happen anymore. It might be a little problematic. Ambush on Ferrix. We don't actually even have this set. I don't even know if I necessarily want it. But what I will say is if you are not watching Andor right now, I don't know what is wrong with you. That is the it's pinnacle so good. of Star Wars. Go watch Andor. The best show it's Star my Wars favorite. has ever had. I'm just trying to help get the ratings up so they continue with season two. But it is <laughs> you got this, masterpiece. Ross. Okay, okay. Check this out. This is like one of my all-time favorite themes of lego that isn't an ip or anything this rock is one raiders. of the ones i loved as a kid is rock raiders check this one out i had this one as a wee lad um, in your youth yeah in my youth i remember it being like 96 or something like that and having this one um and this one is super cool it must be a collectible looking at this price wow. oh wow it's like a rock raider battle pack they're all just hanging out doing their stuff these are actual like characters they aren't just random people i remember because i used to play the rock raider video game a lot too oh they're using teamwork that's so yeah, good I'm, I'm proud of them wow all right so you don't get to see this one that often either insectoids 
I love this one. It has all these crazy buttons in here. So things light up. Apparently there's some sound effect involved with it. Um, I really like it, but my favorite part definitely has to be all these like transparent wings. So you guys saw me earlier talking about Prince of Persia. This is an amazing set. I was actually just talking to the clerk about it. He was pointing out that, uh, you know, they had a lot of these snot pieces here kind of to represent like in the old school video game, you know, it was a lot of scaffolding going on. Uh, a lot of parkour and stuff. So I really like this set. Again, it comes with a camel. How could you hate it? Oh, that's cool. And then it came with the cool dagger. I remember the dagger, I think, being an important part of the movie. So in the same vein as Prince of Persia, you guys have heard me talk about before. I absolutely adore the Lone Ranger sets, and I've never even seen them. I just think they're amazing. Look at this set. It comes with this awesome stagecoach, and I really, really love whatever this character is, Red Herring. Oh, Harrington. I guess you're probably supposed to think she's the bad guy, but maybe she's not at the end. I love that. Look at that like headpiece. I've never seen a headpiece like that. That's really cool. That's amazing. All right, so this is one of my favorite corners of the store. You got the planes, the trains, and the automobiles. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, I love it. It's classic. The rocket ride. This is from the episode, one of my favorite uh -huh. ones, when um, they think everybody's an alien, <laughs> so they fly the uh, the rocket ship to the moon, but it turns out they actually went around the moon and came back to Bikini Bottom. And SpongeBob and Patrick think everyone's an alien. They pick up like Squidward's weird like water cooler thing, and they think he's having twins. It's it's fun. It's such a good like episode. I love that I can look at this set and know immediately what episode it's from. It's so weird on it though, because they have like this 3D rendering on the box. Like <laughs> it looks a little wonky. Yeah, for you Star Wars fans, check it out. We got this awesome hover tank from Rogue One. We actually just watched Rogue One in preparation for Andor, so this might be fresh in your mind. I thought this was a really cool set, and I like these figures. They're actually the same figures as the uh, the Shore Troopers or the Scarif Troopers, too. They're just recolored. And then check this one out, Mission to Mars. I remember this one as a kid, Discovery Kids. Oh, this is, wow. I think, 2003. I remember the thing in this set was so cool. I think this was kind of like an idea set before ideas was even like a thing. I remember there being a lot of hype around this set when it came out. Um, everybody loved the educational ones, and that one in particular was really cool. You could actually get like a really big Mars rover. Oh, that's neat. Um, this was like the little mini version of it. So I'm actually still surprised this set is here. I've had my eye on this set. I just, you know, I just don't really have anywhere to put it, but the main reason, of course, that I want it is because of Watto. Who doesn't want that molded Watto? Oh, like yeah. That? What are you talking about? So this was also kind of cool. This is like the uh, the NBA like collector. So these were actual like players in the NBA. They got the licenses for them. They don't actually have the names of these ones on there. So maybe someone could tell us oh, who wait. they are. There we go. Well, look at that. Oh, the Shaquille O'Neal. So if you remember, I believe this figure was actually in the Lego movie. Oh, check it out. The clerk actually just brought me another one. Ooh, with Kobe Bryant in it. I recognize that name. I don't recognize the other two because I don't watch basketball. But check it out. Hey, Emily, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob. Squarepants. These are fun. I love I love these ones. Like Hawaiian SpongeBob. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna do my Squidward impression. Okay. Don't you need to be stupid somewhere else? No till four. <laughs> Rule of Atlantis, check this one out. I feel bad. We're like missing a lot of sets here. There's just so much to cover. So I definitely recommend if you get a chance to come check this place out. But look at this, the portal to Atlantis. So you collect all the little things here, and I think if you like spin them or something. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways. <laughs> oh, they also have cars. Smokey's Garage here. Oh, I love those. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I see a ton of yellow old Harry Potter sub, here. Pretty oh, awesome. Oh, these are really cool. These were part of the, these were really weird sets. Um, I actually think I had this one. Um, which is a shame because I think I lost this little clock oh, piece no. to it. That's so cool. And it came with a fat singing lady at the front here. But <laughs> these were like kind of the, you can kind of think of them like the moments um, sets that come out in the last few years. They were like that and they had these like weird cardboard like backgrounds to them. It was totally different than normal Lego. It was kind of similar to like the Bellevue sets that were coming out at the time. The color schemes are wonky as heck, uh, but they had some interesting stuff. Like look at this piece here. I, it's not a piece you normally get. I, oh I, yeah. I don't that, even like, know what that is honestly. Top? Yeah, this gold ball and then, oh, look at that sad little, look at this Harry Potter and his Aww. parents. And then like if you turn it, they disappear. But one of my favorite sets here, it's honestly still I think an underrated set and I just don't think like it would ever make it again is the Army Men on Patrol from oh, wow. Toy Story. I love this set. I had like four or five of these as a kid cause I was like 
really into trying to make like Vietnam era mocks. And so this was like perfect for it. Absolutely loved it. Even World War II mock kind of worked with those. Oh, look, the Winter Village Post Office. Oh, wow. Check that one out. That's neat. I haven't seen this one in a while at least. That's really cool. So it's over 10 years old. Wow, hard to believe it's been over 10 years. Winter Village has sure come a long way, but man, I love looking at these like classic it's ones It's so like classic. This. Yeah, I love that. So really quickly, they actually have a lot of the old school Harry Potter sets. I think this is uh, episode three Harry Potter. This is when they started wow. doing the flesh tone. That face printing though. Come oh a long my way, goodness. but if you want to see some bad printing, <laughs> look at these <laughs> bad boys. But look at those yellow printed boys. And we got the old school basilisk with these little knife for fangs. So I actually found part of our basilisk, but I can't find the knives. And they're glow in the dark, believe it or not, but I think like each knife is almost $20 now. Oh my like, goodness. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that's wild. Oh, uh, this is from episode one with they're finding the keys and then there's like the little queen chess piece, potions class and stuff like that. The Whomping Willow, I think that was from a newer one. Oh, uh, this is the one where uh, Lupin, is that Lupin? Whatever, that, the guy that nobody likes. Um, they make them Lockhart, like- Lockhart, right? Yeah, Lockhart. Yeah. And they make them like duel. So it was oh, kind of yeah. cool. You can like fight. You're a muggle. <laughs> I don't think that's how to fight when. Uh, <laughs> I'm like so giddy. There's Aww. like so many cool sets here. <laughs> uh, so they have the twisted time machine train. Check it out. So when you when you push it, like it all does crazy stuff. This weird skeleton wizard is on uh, a telescope or something. <laughs> this ghost is going to work, it seems. Um, <laughs> why, why does he have a briefcase? <laughs> what? It's what happening creative. here? Yeah, I just love, I love how ingenuitive, even old school like it was. <laughs> That's fun. That's really fun. And then they got some zero G space simulator stuff. It's always fun. Oh, it comes with a disco ball. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like a cool satellite. Here, the mission control from 1999 before Y2K. And I think you could actually maybe hit these buttons. Oh, look at that. Wow. This is probably the That's toy cool. Elon Musk had when he was a kid, I'm sure. <laughs> There's a lot of great sets here. I'm just gonna kind of poke at some of the ones that really stick out to me. I like this one a lot because it comes with like three different types of sharks. So this is, I think supposed to be your great white, this might be your bull shark, and then that's your sawtooth shark or whatever those are called. You can actually put a figure into the cage there and put them down into the shark cage. You know, it's kind of like that show, the shark tank, and then you have to convince these sharks <laughs> to invest in your company. <laughs> Um, so good luck with that. So these, I wasn't even really looking for things like this, but you know, I always like to look at the foil packs. They have a few new things like uh, this Captain America with a Tesseract looks kind of new to me, but check this out. They got like OG poly bags back here. So again, another like Aquanaut um, poly bag, some of the Arctic poly bags. And then I really like this one, the Night Kingdom, as well as uh, the insectoids. Look at That's that. Cool. Now we're gonna take a look at the glass cabinet. If you guys Ooh. watch the videos, you know, usually the uh, the manager likes to put some of the cool, more expensive or exotic sets in, in this section. And uh, it does not disappoint, the city center. I remember thinking this set was so cool. Really looking at it now, it really isn't like that amazing, but what I really loved about it was this like whole highway thing. And I always like imagine having a Lego city with a highway. Even to this day, I still don't have a highway in my Lego city, but uh, roads take up a lot of room, I've, I've learned in Lego cities. Um, speaking of roads, check this out. This is one of those old school roads. You don't even see, they don't even make road base plates anymore. Um, but really cool. It has a lot going on here. There's a fire department, there's a police department, I guess a mechanic. Um, so you know, you can kind of do anything you need to, but check it out down here. We got a lot of the Lego house uh, stuff as well as some other really, whoa, look at that one. I really want that one. Oh wow. Yeah, that's cool. Oh wow, that's cool. You see in these old sets like this, you know, it's it's Lego, but then they put it on like That's model. like a real rock thing. Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love this set. I love when the base plates have the little like river thing going on over there. And it has the little stumps. You haven't seen stumps like that oh, in that's a long cool. time. Yeah, but look at these teepees. They're like in pristine condition. Those are beautiful little teepees. All right, check it out. Ooh. Ninjago Ninja mode. before Ninjago. So these are ninjas. Wait, are these not Ninjago? No, these are not Ninjago. Oh, this I thought they ninjas. were Ninjago. Yeah, this is oh, like wow. from okay. like 1999, 1998-ish. Oh, there's fishies up there. Yeah, I used to love these fish because I would actually use them as uh, like actual fish, but here they use them more as like ornaments. These are cool. Yeah, these printed walls here. Um, so, you know, it was really easy to build up with these, but yeah, I remember having these as a kid or at least seeing a lot of my friends have these a lot. You got this giant wing ninja guy flying around here and it's pretty dope, pretty dope. And they also have like guns. So it's kind of like a mixture of a samurai ninja. I don't know what time period this was supposed to take place. 
but they had muskets, so fun. And then over here, this is kind of like the same time frame, I guess, yeah, 1997, Fright Nights. Night Lord's Castle. They're really intense. Is this a event. wizard? It is. It looks like he's a dark wizard. And then he's got this black dragon. I actually have a few of those black dragons. I love these dragons. Unfortunately, it feels like this video might be dragging on. So let's move over to Star Wars. All right. So I actually got got when I walked in here. I still haven't <laughs> seen the UCS Razor Crest in person. And I saw this on the other side of the uh, the store. And I was like, oh, look, the UCS Razor Crest. And I came and looked at it. And I was like, wow, it looks pretty good. And I was like, huh, it's kind of weird. It's missing, um, you know, Blorg or whatever his name is. No, his Blurg and uh what's it quill and his blurk the store clerk had to remind me that oh no this is actually a mock so believe it or not somebody actually brought in the mock i think this is the same mock that you could buy instructions for at brick vault but it looks really cool it's kind of somewhere it sits between the ucs and the play scales what they're telling me you could tell here that the canopy piece is actually from the play scale version of the set yeah, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> than the ucs too as well yes <laughs> it is and uh in there actually in little, that little crate there is actually a thumb drive that has the instructions for it too oh that's cool yeah i'm always looking at clone yeah. troopers it looks like there might be a little short on clone troopers today which is crazy every time i come in it's just like a different story but they got a lot of cool astromechs i see a few choppers back there oh, i love chopper yeah who doesn't little your droid still highest kill count in the whole show i'm telling you we've got a few of the original 501st clone troopers over there some mandalorians check it out some old republic and a lot of good clone troopers there a lot of bomb squad going on i love seeing these super commandos from darth maul and it's a cool jedi here i almost forget her name and then they actually have this version of ahsoka tana that i don't have right here behind orson krennic okay so we're gonna speed run a few of these things first off i see the og sith infiltrator so actually this is the only sith infiltrator I ever had. Check out all these Slave Ones. So this is uh, 2006 Slave One, Dinga. And then we got the 20th anniversary Slave One. A lot of people say that this is probably the best one. I agree, play scale wise, this is probably the best Slave One they ever made. And then check this one out. What a sight. You got that 2002 Django Fett Slave One. This is the only time Lego's ever made the Slave One in episode two style. And it comes with that super sweet. Django Fett, look at that. Oh, look, a Wampa. Aw. All right, earlier I was talking about sets that almost bankrupt Lego. Check it out, Galador. Oh, wow. <laughs> so weird. Oh, How wow. is this even Lego? Look at that guy. Oh, why did you guys do this? So we're talking about sets that almost put, you know, Lego into bankruptcy. Let's talk about sets or the themes that brought it back. These are the old school um, Bionicle comics. I actually had almost all of these that I'm seeing here. And I thought they would be like worth a lot. They, I don't think they are, but still really cool. You know, they, they came with comics and I think it really helped with the sets too, because it really got you into this whole lore. So I remember reading these comics late at night. You know, I really wanted these golden masks. They weren't that easy to get, actually, as I remember. But it's super cool seeing a whole stack of these Bionicle comics just chilling. So, you know, in general, bricks and minifigs will disassemble any sets for you for free. However, if you go ahead and buy these as is, you can probably get a pretty decent discount on them, is what uh, the clerk actually just told us. So I would recommend if you come in here and you're looking at getting one of these things, you have the option of, again, getting them disassembled. Or, you know, if you take them off like this, you could probably get a little bit of a price reduction. All right, we're about to check out. All right. Woo, wow, it's dark. We just left Bricks and Minifigs. Is it like midnight? What time is it? It's like six o'clock. I hate that it's already dark. <laughs> but yeah, we got a nice little Lego haul for you guys. I am excited. All right, so I just got home and normally I do a Lego haul in the car afterwards, but it was kind of dark outside and I wasn't really expecting that. So we're just gonna do a Lego haul here instead. Let me show you everything I got. All right, so I know I mentioned this in the video, but like I had to get it. I thought it was really cool. Like all the torso printings there, like it has the American flag plus the soccer ball. I just thought that was really cool. But then y'all, the best part about this set though, like look on the back of the box. They have this like early 2000s dad wearing it around his belt like I guess there's like an attachment to put it on your belt to look like the coolest kid on the block and then the second thing we got today is just like in this brown box it's kind of a surprise for our friends so I'm not going to show it because I'm pretty sure they watch these videos but I'm happy we found it feel free to leave a guess down below in the comments but yeah so me and Ross had a really good time at Bricks and Minifigs today they had so many older sets like I didn't expect that I knew that they had like a big buy-in but I didn't know it was like that big of a buy-in so definitely go check them out they have some really good stuff on the shelves right now with that being said y'all thank you so much to bricks and minifigs in austin texas for sponsoring this video thank you everyone so much for watching please do consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and i'll see you next time